Hello, and welcome to your third Roblox lesson. And in this lesson, we're just going to make a simple teleporter brick. So, first off, let's just insert our basic stuff. So, just go to Insert, Tool, to get this little menu up. And then we're just going to go to Free Models. Search for Base Plate. And just drag any one that you like. I'm just going to go with this one over here. Then, go to game objects and just insert a spawn point and then go to bricks and insert a brick okay so first thing is we're just going to set our spawn point position so just click on the spawn point and then go down here to position and just change it to zero zero one and that should just make it right at the center of the map now I'm just doing this because we're going to basically teleport the user to this position but higher up so we then have our brick let's just call it brick so name brick okay so to make sure you've got the brick selected go to insert object script and then just hit ok and then open up the script okay so we can get rid of the code in here and we're just going to put in this code here and I'm just going to go through this with you basically what it does is when they touch the brick it teleports them up so first things first brick dot equals script dot parent so that's just because the script's inside the brick we're just setting our brick variable to the actual brick itself and then when the brick's touched call this on touch function now in the on touch function up here we have a local variable which means it's only available in this function called toucher and basically this stores the person that actually touched the brick so this is equal to part, and because our onTouch function is given a part, uh, this part, in this case, if they touch the brick, this part variable would be the brick. So toucher equals part dot parent, and then colons, find first child humanoid. And basically what this does is find the toucher. So we now have the toucher stored in a variable called toucher then if it has worked, so if toucher does not equal nothing so if we definitely have a toucher in this variable so we know which humanoid has touched that box or brick then what we're going to do is we're going to go toucher.torso.cframe now basically what cframe is, is a coordinate frame now all parts and most 3D objects in Roblox will have a cframe so we're just going to get the torso's coordinate frame we're going to set it equal to a new coordinate frame of 0, 100, 0. And that's basically just going to make us really high up over the spawn point because we've set the spawn point to 0, 0, 1. So that's really all we need for this. Just make sure the script is inside brick and that it contains this code. And all we're going to do is we're just going to go to place one. We're going to go to tools, test, play solo. Just test this out. And here's our Roblox guy. Where's the brick? There it is. Let's just walk around. Oh, look, a brick. Let's walk into it. And there we go. We just spawned way above, and we're now bouncing around on the spawn point. So let's just try that again. Ta da, we're all the way up here. Oh, he's falling over this time. And basically, that is all this lesson's about. That brick, on touch, changes the C frame of the torso. Now, for any type of teleportation, usually what you're going to use is the C frame. And moving any objects really. All you need to know is C frame means coordinate frame, and we can set it equal to different values. In this case, I've just made a new C frame to set it equal to. So C frame, coordinate frame, have fun with teleporting people, and that's the end of this lesson. Have a nice day.